Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a mod called Project E in Minecraft 1.16.5 Forge Minecraft. And basically Project E is a remake of Equivalent Exchange 2, a magic mod that allows the, the player to convert almost any item, vanilla or not, into energy, a, kind, a type of energy called EMC. And then you can use that uh, energy uh, EMC to convert it into other items. So basically it's a form of transmutation of blocks and, and items. So yeah, let's get started. A very quick side note, the video is split in two because it was way too long. So you have a part one and a part two. The part one will talk about the basics of the mod and the production of EMC passively and, and actively. And then the part two, it's about the, um, arm, the armors, tools, gadgets belts everything everything in that in that area okay so be sure to check out the part two uh after you finish this video or if you already know the basics go straight to part two i will link the video in the top right uh, of the screen so uh one thing that you must keep in mind is that you can see the value of of emc of any block by overing them like this when you have them in your inventory too and if you have a stack, let's say a stack, it will show you the stack EMC, so the stack value uh, of of the the uh, project E energy. Also, if you have uh, something like uh, the one probe that I have on the left uh, upper side of the screen, you can see the EMC value when you point at things. So, for example, lapis lazuli block, it's seven 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 six. Sand it's one, stone it's one, chest uh, 65, uh, glowstone 1536, you get the gist. So the first thing you want to craft for yourself, it's a philosopher's stone, which is made with redstone dust, glowstone dust and diamond. And you, after craft it, it has some unique uh, cool stuff. So if you press C or any other key that you have configured to the to the mod, you have a crafting grid. So you have a crafting grid on the go. So you ha you can be anywhere in the world and you can craft stuff. Pressing C. If you want to, I will explain later to charge and uncharge the the the, the philosopher's stone, you have to press Shift V to uncharge, and you can see the bar under it, and you can press V to charge it. What charging does, it's, it will affect the area of uh, that the, the stone can transmutate stuff. So I'll show you. So for example, I can transmutate sand into grass, stone into cobblestone, cobblestone into stone, and grass, of course, into sand and vice versa. So basically, you can transmutate the blocks that have the same EMC value. Okay, you can't gain EMC by doing this. So, uh, if you charge it, I'll show you here. So, if you have uncharge it, like right now, you have an area effect of one. If you charge it once, it will get bigger, 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 bigger. So, I'm in a snow biome, so that's not very useful. Oh, I'll show you it here. So, let me have the minimum. So, one, three, three by three. This is, I think, 5x5, five five, and then bigger, and bigger. So, there you have, you have sand, you have grass. And you can also change the mode of, of the Philosopher's Stone by pressing G. So, line mode, as you can see, it is a line. Cube mode, it will do a, a cube. Panel, and line again. So, for example, if I do cube, lots of sand <laughs> one last thing that you can do is by having a source of energy in your inventory like uh, for example coal or a glowstone or redstone uh, and keep in mind that it will be used if you have your philosopher's stone and uh, an entity let me go into normal and you have an entity you can change the entity to another entity by pressing r
so it's a very useful trick and you can only use uh, use no you can only transmutate between uh, similar uh, entities so don't expect to get a mo uh, hostile uh, like i don't know a witch or a, a zombie from a villager and besides blocks and entities you can also transmutate items i'll show you some so you can transmutate iron into ender pearl and coal into charcoal gold into diamonds and emerald into diamonds uh, and vice versa and then you can uh, start to transmutate coal into other types of coal that are uh, added by the the project e mod that these items are used in a lot of recipes so you you will want to get your your hands on on this type of 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 materials okay so keep that in mind so after you get your philosopher's stone you will want to use it with uh, some i'll show you some obsidian and uh, any type of stone to get you a transmutation table and you will get your philosopher's stone back so don't worry it won't be used up so after you get your transmutation just put it somewhere convenient in the world so for example like here I don't need that one because I'm in creative. And what this does is the transmutation table will learn any, any EMC, uh, EMCable item that you put in there. So if you put the item in the flame uh, slot, it will burn the item, learn it, and memorize it. And after that, any other items that you put in there, you can burn them for EMC. And convert convert those into other items. So I'll show you, for example, if I put a diamond in the burning slot, now you see that it has learned diamonds. So on the right side, you can see what the table has learned. And here on the left side, you can see how, uh, the MC that the table has. So for example, if I put many blocks in there, boom, a lot of EMC. And from now, imagine that you have, I don't know, you want to trade sticks for some reason if you put a stick in the center it will learn the recipe but it won't burn the 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 item but it has learned it anyway but if you you can also burn it and it will learn it uh, that way too and then you can just boom 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 and have many other sticks and when we say sticks for example, ender pearl. Imagine that you have a lot of diamonds, but you don't have many ender pearls. You have just like one ender pearl. You can burn it or or learn it, but those are basically the same. If I burn it now, it has learned the 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 item. If I do shift left click, there you go. A lot of ender pearls because I burned a lot of diamonds. Uh, keep in mind, if you want to change uh, the table uh, to another place, you can pick it up with the pickaxe and put it somewhere else that it will retain the EMC and the, the stuff that it has learned. And you also have a type of chest, a new type of chest, which is a bigger chest called alchemical chest. This chest is also used in recipes through the mod, so it's not only a, a, a bigger chest, okay? And uh, the way it's made, I'll show you. It's made with any type of stone, iron, chest, diamond, and covalence dust. Covalence dust is made by uh, the low covalence dust is uh, cobblestone with, with uh, charcoal, and the medium covalence dust is redstone and redstone dust and and iron and the high one is coal and diamond and it will give it it will give you a lot of of covalence dust that covalence dust between besides serving to to craft the chemical chest is also to craft an alchemical bag which is basically a bag that can store stuff for you on the go Using the alchemical chest, you can craft an energy condenser. This is a very, very cool uh, chest. So, basically, in this chest, it will convert items using AM EMC to other items. So, in this slot up here, on the left upper side, you will uh, put in there your uh, target item. So, let's say diamond. 
So now the energy condenser chest will try to craft diamond using EMC. So how do you do that? Basically, you can insert items inside there. So let's say I have some wood. Uh, no, not wood. Lock. <laughs> let's say I have some locks. Let's imagine I have some stacks of locks. So I put it in there and... As you can see, it starts to eat the, the item and converting it to EMC. It's very useful because you can also uh, connect a chest uh, with items. So imagine you have a cobblestone generator. You can connect the cobblestone generator. Imagine this is a, a generator to the energy condenser. And as you can see, it will start to... Um, uh, use cobblestone in this case to to craft diamonds. I will speed up the process just a minute. Not cobblestone. Let's use let's say uh, gold. It's way faster. So let's imagine I put some gold in there. As you can see, it will start to convert the items in the uh, to the target uh, object. And this chest, this energy condenser, is crafted with uh, obsidian, diamonds, and the alchemical chest I, I showed you before. You then have an upgraded type of the energy condenser, which is the energy condenser MK2, which is crafted with dark matter, red matter block, and the energy condenser I showed you before. So uh, you will craft this later in the game. I'll show you uh, how do you craft this. The red matter, uh, red matter, and dark matter blocks, but basically these these energy condenser allows you to extract the items that it crafted. So let's say, for example, I want to craft gold. I need gold, and I will use. Let's say I have a lot of uh, iron. I will use iron. As you can see, the gold goes on the right slot and you can extract it to uh, somewhere that you want, like a chest or your uh, system in general. So I showed you the, a way to, to generate items using EMC from other items, which is like an active way of generating an EMC. So you need items to generate items. But then you have a very cool way of generating EMC, which is using energy collectors. Energy collectors are like solar panels, if you can call it, that will generate EMC passively. So using like air if you air in this case light so to do so you need to craft yourself energy collector it has three tiers mk3 mk2 and mk1 and you have a trick if if you want to put it outside in the sun you can you can do that but i will say that you want to use glowstone on top of the condenser so it will always be running so if you have a glowstone on top of it it will always be running okay so that's a, a little trick. So the energy collector is crafted with glowstone, furnace, a block of diamond and some glass. And it has other tiers like the MK2 and MK3. And both of them are crafted. The MK2 is crafted with glowstone, the MK1 and dark matter. And the MK3 is crafted with glowstone, MK2 and with red, mat red matter. The way the energy collector works is you will put inside it some items like coal, for example, and we will start to uh, EMC that item to a higher tier. So let's say e uh, coal has EMC of 128 and gunpowder is 192. So it converted one coal to a gunpowder. So you now have an item that is higher value of EMC than the coal. So you are gaining EMC overall. And each, uh, each tier of the collector does this much faster. So let's say this one, coal to gunpowder, much faster. And that one, it's way, way faster. And as you can see, now it starts to convert gunpowder to glowstone. So gunpowder is 192, 
Glowstone is 384, so now you are starting to gain a lot of EMC. So using the Glowstone is a very helpful trick, as I said, but you also have another way of, of doing so. Imagine that you don't want to, to, to run this process. You can have a collector next to the... No, not a collector. You can have an energy condenser next to a collector. And if you have a target item, let's say my target item is diamonds. Let's put it in there, and let's take the glowstone and gunpowder out. You can see now that the 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 condenser it's absorbing the EMC from the collector. So now you have a way of crafting diamonds in a passive way. So now you start to wonder, okay, what if I put some energy collectors around the energy condenser? Well, you can do that. So I'll show you. If I put some energy collectors around that chest you will produce EMC way way faster and you can also put one on top for example and now if we access the 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 condenser under it let's say it's here you can see that it's generating EMC very 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 fast so this is like a a simple basic flower, uh, not with the MK3, you will start obviously with the MK1, but you can generate uh, stuff, you can generate uh, items uh, by using EMC passively. But if you want to go further, you will want to craft the relays. Relays are like cables, like an energy cable that will uh, absorb the MC on all sides and send it to a block like the condenser. So by doing that, let's say I have a energy condenser here. I can put an antimatter relay here. And if I connect the energy collectors on all sides, all sides of the antimatter relay the antimatter relay will absorb all the the energy from from the from the the collectors and send it to the condenser as you can see so the condenser is receiving the energy from the collectors those four collectors which are go uh, which the energy is going through the relay so now you can build yourself a flower so what the flower will uh, give you the opportunity to is to produce uh, any item that you want in a very very fast way so i will uh, demonstrate how you can build it uh, but first, let me explain what what we we have here. So basically, you have uh, energy condenser in the in the middle, AMK2 in this case. So I so so that I can extract the item from from there. In this case, the item that is being produced is diamonds, and this is how many diamond diamonds it has produced during the the building of the tutorial and uh, the recording of the video. So yeah, a lot. And around it are a lot of collectors, MK3 in this case, with glowstone on top and energy relays uh, uh, on the sides of the condenser. So now I'll show you how to build this. So the first thing that you want to do is to uh, put down an energy condenser and then around the energy condenser on the five on the sides that are available uh the downside is the side that you don't want to build on you will put uh four antimatter relays now on every side of the antimatter relay you will put down an energy collector mk3 like this and on top oh i missed one there like this and one here on top uh, two, two, like that and now you will put glowstone all around so that the flower is uh, producing energy constantly and there you go
Now you just need to put the to put the item that you want to to produce uh, in there. In this case, I'm putting diamond, but I would suggest suggest when you can that you produce red ma red matter or dark matter because those are a very high uh, EMC value uh, items. So that's it. That's how you build a, a flower. And that's a wrap on part one of this mod tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to check out part two. I'll leave the link to the video on the screen. If you like the video and you like the content, uh, like, subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them on the comment section below. And that's it. See you next time.